We're going to take a closer look tonight at an astonishing attempt by scientists to create life in the laboratory. This is about researchers who say they are close to turning lifeless chemicals into living creatures. It has not happened since life on Earth began nearly four billion years ago. There are overtones of Frankenstein and hints of the sublime. For the scientists, it is the new genesis. There are scientists right now who are putting together chemicals in a way which they think will create a living thing. From a non-living set of From things. From non-living chemicals off the shelf. People are doing this right now. They're, they're knocking out one gene at a time and seeing whether it's essential to the life of, of the creature. And once they decide, okay, these are the genes that we need, genes are made from four very simple chemicals which you can find in the middle of the molecule here on these steps. So this section here is the chemical T, this is A, this is C, this is G. These are abbreviations, really. And these chemicals aren't alive. But if you put them into a machine... So you just punch the letters onto this machine. The machine starts with chemicals, puts them together to create DNA. Then you take this designer DNA, slip it into a cell, turn it on, and maybe, if you do it right, you will get a living thing. Scientists are on the verge of creating a thing from scratch that will metabolize, that will use energy and, and function and grow and reproduce itself. That has only happened once. On the third day, says the Bible, or says science, 3.8 billion years ago, could it happen again in a lab from chemicals to life with nothing extra, no kiss from God? Professor Silver says yes, and soon. You don't know that yet. I don't know that, but I'm, I am convinced that it will. Maybe. Robert Krulwich, ABC News.